We ask you specifically to vote against any property tax hike, to vote against the fire fee. In fact, you should simply abolish it, make a motion tonight, abolish that ordinance so it never rises from the grave like a zombie again. Uh, to use reserve to balance your budget until you can solve the long-term budget problems you have with government benefit uh, spending, the worker benefits, and cut spending. And I want to thank uh, Wendy and Newton, Councilman Newton, for working to stop the fire fee last time and recognizing that we can use reserves. And I want to thank Councilman Gerdes for recognizing that the fire fee is a terrible precedent. We could end up with more fees, you know, fees to reupholster your chairs for all I know. Um, and I want to thank the Chamber of Commerce. They sent out a letter to you asking you not to raise property taxes. And I want to thank the patriots who are here today, average taxpayers who are sick and tired of watching you guys deceive them over and over and raising their taxes. And also, I want to thank people's budget review. I don't agree with them on everything they say, but they're here to stop the fire fee because the poor people of our town don't need to pay more taxes. Now, I'm very disappointed in most of you, though, because you've been deceiving the people of St. Petersburg. You keep saying, well, what kind of city do you want? As if you really think you create the kind of city we want. As if you really think that quality of life flows from this council and how they raise taxes and simply raising the taxes creates quality of life. You, you say things like, we're going to deconstruct the city. Is that a threat? I mean, do you really think people don't laugh when they hear you say such ludicrous things? You know, you are deconstructing the city. Whenever you raise taxes, and, and here's some other things that you're doing to deceive people. Spending is up, not down. You've already got a $5 million shortfall from last year. You're going to transfer money from this tax site to last year. Revenues are up through utilities and fees and fines. Um, you know, the bond rating will be threatened if you uh, use the reserves. What a bunch of nonsense. The bond rating is threatened because you're assuming an 8% return for your government worker benefits. You have $177 million unfunded liability for your benefits. And the list goes on and on. It's because of your ridiculous spending and bad policies. That's why the bond rate is right. Not because you're not going to put a few million dollars more in there. You know, I want to be positive about this city. I love this city. And I just can't stand to watch you folks deceive people and, and not recognize that prosperity is an opportunity we're missing because of your regulations on food trucks and, and on digital signs. And uh, because you're giving $5 million to one corporation to create jobs you never create, instead of letting people decide the winners, you know, the list goes on and on. Um, you are not making the kind of city we need. The kind of city I want to live in is a kind where a, a father of a small family keeps the money in his pocket, and he goes to the arts community and spends it. Or he spends it on his kids so they have opportunities he never has. That's the kind of city I want to live in. And sadly, you're never going to change, which is like folks like me have to run for city council next year because you're just going to keep deceiving people and raising their taxes. Please don't do it anymore.